Hello guys, we are back with five things we learned. Manchester United two, uh, you know, Brentford one. Uh, you know, guys, this uh, this review, which I would say a match, it's not a match reaction. Actually, the five things we learned. We talk about the tactics and who created impact, the minuses, the pluses of the team. Guys, this is what we will be talking in this like this ten minutes. So please give me your time. But before we start, guys. You can don't like the video if you don't like it. It's okay, but um, but tell me guys, what did you learn in that game? Because I want to tell you guys what I think. Number one thing I learned is that you know Eric Ten Hag, honestly, um, this manager needs some time. You know, you can say rough, you can be flip flopping, but I think only time can solve can improve Manchester United at this point. I don't know what you think. You know, in whatever thing we do in life, it reminds me of when Pep came. I know Tony will be telling me that Ralph, it is the third year and Bruno is playing well with the national team and not playing in Manchester United. I, I, I which I would agree to some extent, but when you know, it get, when, you, when you see the whole game and see the way the players comport themselves in Manchester United, I think some players believe in them that there is no there is no way they could be benched and this is risky we have spoken about that in the past that it's very risky when you have a bunch of players where you can't bench them we know Marcus Rashford knows that he can be on the bench we know Bruno is the captain <laughs> obviously that shields him from being uh, you know substituted uh, many times we have called on that many times but uh, yeah that might be one of the weakness we have in Manchester United but look I want to tell you guys this the thing is I think when Manchester United loses game there's a lot of ten out, out there but uh, this is not a Ten Hag in uh, video, but I think Ten Hag needs to take uh, credit for the win yesterday uh, because uh, he's quite a very stubborn manager, but at the end of the day, he was brought into the team uh, to, to, to win or something. And when you win games, you need to give credit when it is due. So this is my view. I think Eric Ten Hag got it right. The only way you can judge games is winning. Football is a winning business. It's not a playing well business. I think in the modern game, playing well is a bonus. That's why we talk about Pep Guardiola. Say Alex Ferguson for those of you who are young, didn't watch this man that managed Manchester United. There were many games he, he yes, he built teams over teams, teams in many years, but there were many games, believe me, that Sir Alex Ferguson won dirty. But yesterday, I wouldn't say it was a dirty game. I think the manager did a very good job. And uh, yeah, so that will be my first thing I learned is that the manager got it right in that game. And uh, you know what? Another thing I will talk about is uh, the team spirit. I think uh, yesterday I gave my man of the match to Ganacho. I'm sorry. Uh, I think Ganacho had a fantastic game, honestly, especially the second, uh, second half of the game. He would have scored the goal in the first half. I think Ganacho has uh, a decision problem. The thing is, uh, you keep asking me the difference uh, between a, a very good player and a top, top player. The, I think the difference is the decision making. If you are very good, most of you watching these videos, you never watched a player, you don't even know, maybe you heard the name, a player called Diego Maradona, go to YouTube, you'll see what the meaning of decision mean. I think Maradona, you talked about, Maradona was Iniesta, was Messi, Iniesta and Javi at the same time in one player. Where he, you, he had always, like, when, if Maradona had a 95% pass accuracy, he had a bad game. He was that passing. He, he's, it's, uh, what I'm trying to say is that for you to build up a team, if you can get someone who is very good in that link of play, who is very good at making decisions at the right time, that brings me back on the player, Ganacho. Because if Ganacho can get that right, that's where we will be making uh, top, top, top dough. We'll be making top, top, top dough. When I mean dough, not money, I mean winning trophies and at the end of the day, making more money on the pitch. So I think. Um, to Manchester United, the team did really well. Uh, Onana was for me uh, uh, had a good game. You had players like Ericsson, which I will talk a bit later because I think uh, let me just go straight on to it. Ericsson is a player which I think he has uh, slightly passed it. I think Ericsson playing in the midfield, if we play against a very uh, aggressive midfielder, we will be tasked because of Ericsson. One of the things I noticed in the game yesterday was that we were so slow in the midfield. That transition has to have energy. If we play against Liverpool, we'll be lucky to leave the pitch without conceding three goals because those opportunities will be coming. So that's why I criticized Eric Tenak yesterday in my match reaction that the, I don't know why you bought Ganacho. You would have said, if you sign Ganacho, I will resign, than buying Ganacho and put, giving him just five, ten minutes. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's ridiculous, honestly. This is a, an established international. He's not a European, but he is... Uh, 
is an international and established one. So uh, um, it's, it's true I'm jumping from one place to another, but uh, I, I will think that the team spirit yesterday, Johnny Evans, and we end without talking about Johnny Evans. And mostly, guys, this is a player which I want to talk about, is a uh, uh, defender, Delit. If you watch the video when Delit came out with an injury and they scored, what a reaction from Delhi. What a reaction. A deception from Delhi. This guy, I you know, I used to say Kobe Mourinho will be the future Manchester United captain. I think if Delhi stays fit for I think by next year, even we'll be talking about him captain in Manchester United. Because the guy the guy if he can just get can can just try to correct his mistakes. He's a defender, he was always make mistakes, and Van Dyke does make mistakes. Franco Beretti, which most of you don't even know about, was the best defender in the world. Paolo Maldini, yes, they didn't do it. Often, they didn't have their mistakes. So, mistake is part of the game. Without mistakes, football will become a very boring game. Hence, there won't be goals, there will be very few goals. So, I um, personally think that uh, uh, they did could be a, a very good addition for Manchester United Football Club going forward. So what again we talked about uh Ganacho, what a game he had, come on Ganacho. This is a player which United uh, you remember when Sir Jim Ratcliffe talked about Manchester United about Real Madrid having ten players of a hundred million pounds uh, and uh, why Manchester United have bought a lot as well, maybe even more than Madrid Real Madrid, but we still haven't had these players of Cariba in terms of their their um their value increasing in the market. Ganacho is a good example of a player which we can maximize in terms of his input and he could do well with Manchester United. Look, I think Ganacho is the kind of player which um, United will tr will be on financially because he won't say it. One thing is clear, Ganacho will play all his life in Manchester United. I think Max Ganacho has two, three years. He will be sold to Real Madrid or one of the top clubs. There was an article I read also about Ganacho Barcelona being interested, but Nacho being fed up with the manager. Those are rumors. They are not really uh, uh, stand-up uh, things that will happen, but you know, more or less, this is um, perfectly um, the kind of um, how do I how can I put it? This is perfectly the kind of um, uh, 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 thing we want to do by building up. Uh, uh, uh building up qualities of players rather than the uh, quality of players and value of players in the market so that will help us in future markets so i think ganacho was was spot on very good uh game uh from ganacho in general but i will end the video by talking with uh, about this guy rasmus holland rasmus holland we missed him in the beginning of the season i think rasmus holland i gave him the man of the match and the reason i gave it some of you are like ah, is ganacho the man of the match he's the guy who was giving all the shots Look, United has paid. We have spent the past three, four, five games. We haven't won a game. We have played well. We played well again. We 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 dominated Crystal Palace. We could not score a goal. The reason I gave um Rasmus the man of the match is because Rasmus is the guy. You see what I mean? Because Rasmus is the guy who uh. Which goal gave us that victory? Because no matter what you talk about Ganacho today, if we had a draw, it would be the same thing. Like out, we haven't won. United, what is the problem? Blah 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 blah. And those of you who are negative, and you know, one of the the the, the, the most intriguing thing in life is that negativity breeds into negativity. You see, so um, it is very important, right? It is very important that uh, we we try to to stay well. To celebrate positivity because i have seen all the internet you know we go to different social media platforms uh, x i mean the former twitter the negativity is just all abysmal with manchester united and and gets shared you know but uh, when we win games oh it's only brentford it's only brentford united has to win brentford anyway guys uh tell me what you think i think the man of the match for me was uh, Rasmus Holland, I stand with it because his goal made the difference of the of the match. I didn't say he was the best player, but he was the man who in, in action influenced the game. Tell me what you think below. Smash a like on the video. Uh, get involved with the United Way TV. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. We want to try to expand our fan base so we can that will help us. The penny we do make here can help us bring in people into the community. So thanks for all of you who are members, guys. You guys are fantastic. I'll end the video by asking you
uh, what are the five things you learn? How can United improve? Uh, what should we do in order to improve, guys? So drop your comment below. Tomorrow we'll be doing a video uh, preview game. We'll talk about the tactics, about uh, uh, how we can move forward in kind of regards to the players. Uh, about ability to turn up. So uh, please uh, stay tuned. And yeah, without that, guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.